What's good, YouTube? We back with another episode of the Track Wolf Godcast. I'm your boy, Track Beats. We got my man, Chino Bliss, and Young Savage in the motherfucking building. You already know how we Savage doing it over shit. here, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm about to show some love, you know what I'm saying? As we always do over here on this channel, you know what I'm saying? Be great, you know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all go check out the page on IG. Go show some love and support, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that's trying to do something positive and productive with their life and for their family, you know what I'm saying? We got to start supporting that shit more and stop pulling against that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all go check out the merch, man. Be great, man. Definitely. Salute. Y'all also go check out the merch I got on by my bro, Jamar. Dream Clothing, you know, Instagram. Uh, Dream Clothing underscore, I think. He got sweatsuits, shirts. Everything you need, a lot of appear for the ladies. So if you want to get it right and you got a a, a good dream, holler at my bro Jamar. He'll get you right. Hey, salute, man. We out here supporting, man, showing love, man, constantly. But uh, how was y'all fellas Halloween weekend? <coughs> um, mine was chill. I ain't gonna lie, it was chill Halloween weekend. Anything special with the little one this weekend? Nah, nah, not this time. Just chill? Yeah, just, it, it, cause like, don't get it wrong, yeah, but like, I'm still not trusting the whole trunk or treat, sh, trunk treat shit. That's what they I call still, it? Yeah, cause it's like people was doing, I, it's, that's cool, don't get it wrong, but I, me in general, don't trust people Handling certain things when it comes to kids, yo. Yeah, I feel you on that. So, but shit, she was with her grandma. She was happy. And they did their little thing, so she ain't care. What'd they do? Uh, I think they wanted to see uh, one of my mom friends and shit. Oh, alright. So everybody had, just kind of kicked yeah. it up, played, and had some fun. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Quality to a post from giving that energy, you know yeah. what I'm saying, to something that we don't even really know what it's for, but we celebrate it anyways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Would you uh you have anything good going on this past weekend for you? Man, um some kids came over to the house, you know, some kids in the family decorated the house some, um, made some food, had a little Halloween event for them, you know, so they didn't feel like they missed out, you know, they still got to participate and somewhat have a normal life right now. But um, what about you, man? Uh like with your daughter, with your, you ain't got your daughter. Right? Nah, nah, nah. I didn't have my mini this week, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do y'all uh, What do y'all think about Halloween? Personally, uh, I don't really give it too much energy. That's yeah, why. I that's why know. with like with my situation, like I do week on week off with my BM. So she happened to have her week that it was Halloween, and it felt the same way last year. But she asked me if I wanted to do something. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, no, nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I want her to know that daddy don't support those kind of things, give it that yeah, energy, yeah. but it's okay if you go out and do those things, you know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't push anybody to knock it, it's just I did a little bit more research, you know what I'm saying, behind the origins of Halloween and, and like a lot of these other, you know what I'm saying, holidays that we celebrate that we don't know why we celebrate, we just do it for the for the treats, you know what I'm saying? For the feeling afterwards, so but yeah, yeah, she she left out, you know what I'm saying? I heard she had fun, she did her thing, you know what I'm saying? But as she get older, she gonna know like, that's, that's not what daddy put his energy into and then eventually she's gonna ask why and then I can give her my historical rundown of it, you know what I'm saying? Opposed from just doing it just to do it because everybody else doing it and it just, you getting some candy. Is that something that you like, um, like if she's around and you don't believe in it, then you'll you'll still let her indulge in it if she would like to, or is it something that you teach your way of thinking if she's around uh, at that time? You know what I mean? It depends. Um, I usually give her my you know my opinion of it, and since she's still young, I give her the choice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I let her. I still let her be young, be a child. You know what I'm saying? But I tell her each year we leveling up. So you four right now when you turn five. It's new rules and regulations. Yeah. It's, it's new stuff we gotta learn, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
everything changes each year we doing something different so right now you can skate and slide and do all that stuff you're doing at four and then some of that stuff we're going to chop off the list not everything but as you know what i'm saying each year she goes up it's going to be new knowledge she got to learn it's going to be new different rules for the house so that way she can kind of gain a little bit more responsibility you know what i'm saying just okay. opposed from just the same all right this is what it is and yeah. you're just here and yeah, this is the no. process you know what i'm saying like i needed that perspective you know i'm about to be a pops in about a week or two hey. yeah i know yeah. man so, hey. i know yeah. right I around the that quarter i know that shit is right around the quarter the like year by year more rules regulations guidelines yeah. discipline okay. i can say with the whole with that man just have fun with it and take your time bro yeah a lot of people stress certain shit when they come to like having kids so as long as you still live your life and have fun with it and then like you there with your little bro it's it's going to be some long days and nights, but it's going to be smooth. Man, once they start walking, then you got a problem. Yeah, I know. <laughs> then you got a problem. It really ain't the walking. I feel it's like the it was. Talking. It, it's the talking. <laughs> it's, the, it's the talking and it's the, it was the crawling. Yeah. The crawling, it seems like when they was the most explored. It's like when she, as soon as she started walking, like it, I could keep up with her it was easier it was obvious but that rolling and crawling was more sneakier because she lowered to the ground like yeah it's, it's harder you know what i'm saying oh, yeah, see her yeah yeah and then just peel off faster you know what i'm saying when she gets bigger and she start walking if she get off the couch she gonna stand up and start moving on her feet yeah but when she yeah. little she get off she just start crawling she going right on the table she moving you know what i'm saying so <laughs> Yeah, that shit is that shit is a blessing, man. Yes, it is. That shit is a blessing. I mean, for the people that you know wanted to have them and, and enjoy having them, I know some people aren't prepared, and even if you're not prepared, you're supposed to prepare yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You make yourself prepare. Yeah. It's never no perfect timing or no great timing. Everybody always be like, "Yo, when you when you gonna have one? Or when the time is right? Or mm -hmm. when I when I get married? Like." Motherfucker, what if you don't ever get married? You don't know. You exactly. get into a car accident, be ugly as shit, and motherfuckers don't even want to fuck with you no more. Then what? Uh, that's what happens when you be a robot. So when you get more spiritually connected, you don't have to worry about that kind yeah. of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because the people you vibrate around are still going to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? They see mm -hmm. The process, so... Uh, yeah, Mr. Soon to be father, man. It's it's about to be a journey. It's gonna be a fun one, but Yeah. I'm ready, man. Uh, I always was open to kids and I'm ready. I'm at a point where I, I got myself balanced in life before I had a child. So when a child came I was like perfect. You was ready. Yeah. So you have it your child at the time you have it now, you feel like you more ready now than you would have been if you had it a couple years ago. Yeah, man. If I would have had it even two years ago, shit, even last year, I mean, like, you know, a, a year ago, like, just right when it happened, I knew exactly when it happened. I can see how conscious I was. I can see how aware I was in tune with my body, in tune with my energy, in tune with everything. So I was like, I, I knew it was time. I'm in tune. You know what I mean? Without even trying. That's crazy. And it's like, it's nice because it's like, we call it parents, but we don't really fucking know what it's called or what we doing, you know what I'm saying? Like, all we know is that energy is, you know, us, the parents, we used as a vessel to get that energy here, you know what I'm saying? For them yeah. to complete their tasks, like, and we build a little bit of their character with us for them to maintain out here. Yeah, and vice versa. Yeah. Somebody told me, man, they was just like, they said it happens fast too. They was like, you hit a point where you realize that this isn't my child, this is a person. Yep. Just yeah. like you was just saying. That's true. You know what that I mean? Yeah. True. He was like, and that's one of the hardest parts to really take in, especially when they start going out and starting to try to live life on their own. You know what I mean? Even when they're in the house doing stuff, like you'll start seeing that they, they building their own character and yep. that they're their own person. You know what I'm saying? 
Some people don't notice till they get out the house because they don't pay attention. But I pay attention now, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, what, what is, even if it's a small example, like, <clears throat> what is an example of anything that you might notice? Like, oh, okay, she venturing out on her own perspective. Like, I, I know as far as my daughter, she's very creative and, and like, she's organized. Like, she, she'll have all her Barbies and line them all up together, you know what I'm saying? Or get all her... Legos and line them up. She real good with matching numbers and the matching game animals, plants. It don't matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? Her memory is like sharp, sharp, sharp. But I, I, I notice like sometimes when we go out places, like I know we all are kids and we do this stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I could see she's more timid than I was. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I just try to be more mindful of it and you know not. I try to encourage her. You know what I'm saying? The like, like she mad, playful, she a people person. You see how she is. Yeah, like, yeah. But that that first that first initiation, like going somewhere, like around other little people or something like this, like I don't know. It's a learning process for me because when I watch her doing this, these things, it's like she's fresh to this world, so she's analyzing these other little people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know how we process stuff too, adults and shit. So it's like she going through and at the park or somewhere, and she always finds somebody. Somebody always end up playing, doing something with her. But it's yeah. like they, they take a longer time to process it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and and I think also since we've been through it, we we already know what's going on. So we just looking at them like, all you got to do is this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. She, like my daughter, she she very hands on with things. Like, when you say that, would you? Like, she like cooking, like, she uh, like being hands on with shit, like learning how to do shit. Cause she young, young. She's young. Yeah. She what, just turned four, so mm -hmm. she, she'll she watch me when I make beats when I used to use my beat pad and shit, and she'll want to use the beat pad and try yeah. to do the same thing. Or, and she got a piano. <laughs> and she'll play the piano like come on daddy let's make beats and she'll play <laughs> shit with the piano yeah. not knowing what she's really doing but she's creating sounds but she's not noticing yet mm -hmm. um she kind of a people person like if she don't know you she gonna give you this look like who are you like like i don't know you like what's up with you but then like <laughs> if she, and then she vibe off energy too she can tell you like good energy yeah. shit Kids, they processing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and then when they're gonna kids, if she said kid, want go play, like she, some things parents don't do, and I'm gonna say this: what they should do is let kids be kids, yeah. And when you say that, what does that mean to you? Cause you have some parents who got kids, but they not kids; they grown, and but they young. And to me, I feel like kids shouldn't be in grown folks' business for one. Shouldn't be around certain shit for two. Yeah. And then like three, go play, go have fun, go like do something your creative little man can to have you doing. Instead of being stuck up under adults listening to conversations and then they picking up on shit. Like, yeah. I would, like my, my family, we was raised on like, no, go play, you a child, or you a kid, go play. There's no point in you being around adults. Mm -hmm. And what we talking about, being nosy. Yeah. So that's how I am my daughter. And also, man, even to add to his point, like the things, as I, I grew up as a child, and I would hear things like, you the man of the house, when I'm real young. And as a child, I remember it did something in my head, like, what is that? Like, I know I'm supposed to be doing something. You know what I mean? Like, I know I'm supposed to be helping, but I'm supposed to be a kid. Yeah. But I'm also worried about helping now because I'm, I'm being told by my leader that I'm the man of the house. But I'm treated like a child, so it's also confusing. So, you know what I mean? So what was your first instincts to do when you heard this? Like, when you heard that statement? To just do it? Because that's also what you're told as a child. To do what? What was it? Do it. That's how it to is be, when you growing up. When to you be a young. man, what Whoa. was it? Well, I'm, I'm painting the picture. I know what you're saying, but when you growing up, it's just like you do it, get it done. Yeah, you better do it, figure it out. 
figure it out. And then I, I don't know. Because that's that's my subconscious way of moving as a kid. Somebody tell you to do something, you do it. You know what yeah. I mean? So like I'm trying to figure out how to be the man of the house, so I'm I'm just observing. So now I'm just like, okay, this is what my grandpa do. This is what these people do. I'm gonna do as much as I can in my position as a child. Like this is also a part of the way I start becoming aware. Cause I'm like, I'm a kid. If I do this, I get in trouble. But I'm supposed to be doing this. But I, it's weird. It just puts you. It confuses you. This is kind of the picture I'm painting. Cause yeah. you don't know what to do, but you try your best to do it. You know what I mean? And you lose your innocence. You you start trying to figure shit out when you're just supposed to be being a kid and living. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just don't know what it is. I mean, even if it's not just have a focus, even when we little energies, we could say little kids, but it, it, we little humans, we little energies, so we still, they still should be learning and knowing what's up at the same time, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just supposed to be moved. I feel, personally feel like it's supposed to be moved just at a proper pace, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. You have fun as a kid, but you should be doing some learning and, and like some, some, some useful shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, Whether definitely. it's like teaching them how to plant some shit or, and grow, you know what I'm saying? Or, or fishing or like how to just be creative, you know what I'm saying? With like making stuff with the very minimal, you know what I'm saying? Just keep them using their imagination. Mm-hmm. Cause that's what we all lose as we get older, you know what I'm saying? Luckily for us over here, you know what I'm saying, the motherfucking Godcast, <laughs> we held on to our shit and we already know the viewers is on their shit too, you know what I'm saying? So, right. so it's a different vibe over this way, but yeah, that's uh, life with the little one, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you, if you got them, you know what I'm saying, P.O.P., hold them down. Only you care know if you ain't even with the, the, the significant other. Go yeah. both ways. Just cherish that shit, no matter what. Though. Yeah. How do you feel? Like, are you, what's your relationship with you and the mother of yours? Like, y'all have a great relationship. You know, the mother of your mini. Yeah. That's so, cool. how do y'all um maintain that relationship with your little one? So, like, just some like some good helpful pointers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all in home together, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like, what are some things that y'all do together um, to keep your little one, you know what I'm saying, flowing in the direction that y'all feel is the right direction she should be flowing in? Uh, hmm. Just, how can I put this? We do certain things with her, like, uh, certain learning stuff. Make sure she got that down pat. Um, play little games with her and stuff. Spend time with her, watch movies with her. Certain movies so she can like still have that kid creative man. Like certain stuff she'll watch with us that she like it. It is like she, but she still like. Yeah. It's her thing. Yeah. So, um, for her to do, let her do her have fun, but she. She know how to do shit. Like if she sees something, she's gonna want to learn how to do it, and then she'll come to us. So what I mean is like, as far as like, they have a in home situation, and as far as my situation, like me and my, the, you know, the mother of my child, we not together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but we have like certain things that we do to make sure that. You know what I'm saying? Our daughter's kind of flowing in the same direction, even though she in two different households. So that's what I was meaning as far as, like, y'all. So, like, for us, like, uh, I, I shouldn't say for us, just, like, on a, on a small scale, like, most parents is, like, they don't want their kids cursing. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, so, me, oh, like, so you mean stuff so like other, that? So other examples as oh. far as, like, like <laughs> when she's at work, what are some things that you do that y'all agree on that, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, she can't be in this room or she can't do that, that um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it really ain't no agreement. It's just, we'll let her know off the bat, like certain stuff you can't do or mess with 
she might get mad, but like I gotta break it down to a why, and then she'll understand. Yeah. But as a kid, we all know we ain't gonna listen. We still wanna tiptoe or try to do whatever, but she still knows. So, um, so, so, what, like, so what I mean is like, when she's at work, do you have a lunchtime set that she does when you're gone from the house? Like something set that y'all um, that y'all both try to keep track of together that y'all doing? Yeah, usually, let me see. Oh, nine times she get up, want to eat breakfast. Then she might eat a snack about 11. So about 1, 1.30, I usually fix her something to eat. Now with her mom, I don't know. With me, like, I usually... So that's what I'm asking. Some things that y'all do together, you and the mom, not you and the daughter, some things that y'all do together to maintain. Besides, like... All right, y'all put her to bed at the same time, right? Yeah. She got a permanent bed at time, so... So that's one thing that y'all both do. Yeah. So that's what I was asking. Uh, but so... It ain't no other... Like, <laughs> it ain't no other thing. Nah, I'm being serious. Like, that we actually, like, situations like that do together. What about... What about when y'all have differences an opinion about how you would like to raise the child. How do you handle things like that? It ain't no difference for real, because mm -hmm. we kind of on the same page with that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, things she gets after her about, I'm gonna do the same. Or things she's agreed, like it's, we don't really have a big difference or anything. Like a lot of stuff is like, fluent and flow like easy it sounds like um your situation is similar to mine where it's just like i hear a lot of people saying like so i, I kind of laugh when i hear them like yo i wish i could i wish you could pick your baby mama it's like you can, <laughs> <laughs> like you can but, yeah. but see you can but regardless if you pick it you still don't know the outcome of you don't what's gonna happen because me being around Females that have a sisters who got kids like kids change a female and change a man too and change a man also Yeah, but I say a female because they go go through, through, through the more. pain and go through more. Yeah, so We don't we ain't got to go through none of that I'm seeing it right now with my trust me. I try to be there as much as I can cuz I'm like man I, I really can't imagine having to carry this, having a baby kicking in, you pushing your organs they get, and they, all of that stuff. That that's a crazy process, but we also have to live with a lifelong um, bear of like having to lead. You know what I'm saying? Always having to provide, like no days off. Like you know what I'm saying? Like nine months. Is a nice long period. Yes, it they is. Their bodies is built for it. Our bodies is not. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? But most women, you know what I'm saying, when they with a man, you know what I'm saying, a real man, they going to be able to be in a situation whether they are working or not where the man is providing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and... And, 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 and I'm just saying that to say, like, us learning to be men... That's a large amount of pressure when you're not ready and when you don't know what it is. Yeah, that's fair. I think that that could be for both people. I'm not taking up for either side. I'm not. I'm not saying you are either. I am saying this. Oh no, I, I, I was it. I was it. I said that doubt about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, just yeah. acknowledging the male side as well. Yeah, yeah. We males. I'm just saying. I never stayed beside that female process of pregnancy this entire time. I had a toothache for a week. I almost wanted to end it all. <laughs> <laughs> that was a week. But you know, not not consistent pain for, yeah. for, for nine, ten months <coughs> and then and then if it's a stand up dude. <coughs> you know what I mean? <coughs> like if it's a stand up woman too, don't get me wrong. But yeah, if no, it's no. a stand up dude, he gonna stand there, grit through it, work through what he gotta work through to provide for everybody as best as he can. You know what I mean? But if he don't, I gotta do that Bro. too. That, that you know what my, I mean? My, my, uh, the mother of my child pregnancy was so fucking smooth. It didn't even feel like a pregnancy. I, I, 
that's that's that, fair, that, man. That's how smooth it was. Like everything <laughs> was perfect. There was no hospital issues. There was never like no crazy sick days. You know what I'm saying? Because the eating was was better. I don't know what the fuck it was. Maybe it was just the vibes might have been there at the time or something. But the and I was there for seven, seven, eight months, seven and a half, somewhere like that. You know what I'm saying? So when we went to New York, she had slipped back. But either way, it was like those seven months, like it was nothing. Sure, nothing. he handled my 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 it was, lady. It was a couple like a of like, a couple of like you know how they get the feeling for something, but that was other than that. That's like. And it's, it's nowhere near the same situation, but that's like you going through yeah. a terrible breakup and somebody like, yo, you bounce back, you look better than ever, man. Yeah. That shit won't shit. And you like, nigga, I was in the crib for three yeah. months in the dark. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, like, what are you talking about? Like, and that's just the thing. It's just like, that's that's the thing. Like, people get depressed different ways. Is and different. like the way people handle Like, yeah. I've never been a female, but I can say this. I imagine me carrying something that I can't, do what I feel like doing or go where I feel like going for almost a year and then somebody ain't sticking through. I, I ain't even think about the second half, but it's just even carrying that job. I'm like, and then having to pass it through a hole that is just way smaller. Than, I, I, hey, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for doing that because the I more mean, I sit beside it, like every day, bro, like 10 months is a long, nine months is a long time. Like every single day, 24 hours a day, like that's a long time like to carry that shit like that's a lot and I just sitting beside it you just see it's probably like sitting beside somebody in the cell you just like some niggas can't handle it you sitting there like shit nigga read a book they like nigga I don't know what they like but you, you've <laughs> been there you know what I mean but like I finally got that perspective and I'm just like respect you know what I mean respect respect yeah yeah, yeah. so on another note like how do y'all feel about um or have y'all looked into that subject that was going on with the um the Ohio thing with the kidnappings with the kids and they had the pastor. Pastor? Yeah, he was a pastor of a church. It was like a hundred people that got uh arrested for it. Mm. Man, About it was sick. like a little bit more or less, like they said they say like somewhere between fifty something to a hundred something kids. God damn. Yo, what did they, did they say? Um, I remember seeing I know. a news article. I mean, a news um, clip about that. Actually, a couple. Did they say anything about where they found the kids? What condition the kids was in? It was somewhere in Ohio, like a Mohani or some shit like that. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but. <clears throat> Yeah, they said they found, you know, they was in main condition, you know, you, okay. had, you had some that was a little roughed up, then you had, you know, the bulk of them was like, all right, but. Because when I, when I, what I got from the news clips I seen was, it was a pastor of a church, and I think he also did some things in the community. Yeah. And, um, I, I was just wondering how many people in that position may be doing something like that because that was it was on such a local mm -hmm. small scale and he just seemed like such a regular person yeah. so when you say a ring of over a hundred people with 50 plus i mean that's just to throw a number out there 50 plus kids it just makes me think i mean just how systematic is this if it is systematic it, i feel like that shit is definitely fucking systematic like I mean, maybe it's on a systematic, smaller scale, but it's like, that's way too organized, you know what I'm saying? Like, these people in these positions, like, I feel like to get to these positions, like, you should be of the people. Like, you shouldn't just be able to dance and pay your way in, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, to, to get to these positions. But they allow that shit to happen, you know what I'm saying? So... I mean, even when we looking at this, where you look at um, some of the things that when you see in the media, they say the Catholic priests do to boys, boys exclusively, little like kids, just yeah. like they said this pastor, well, kids, it's, it seems to be a, a trend. It's not like I'm reaching. So you know what I mean. So what do people, what are people gonna realize? Like, 
these are not all isolated situations. Like, that's what everyone likes to think. It's like, oh, okay, that's not my church, but, like, aren't they, and most of them, it's like Catholic priests, too. I don't know if this one was a Catholic priest. I think he was a uh, Christian, mm -hmm. Christian pastor. But, um, I mean, you hear about cults, but cults, you know, you have adults and yeah. But you know, you hear about cults, yeah. you know, mm. based, a lot of that is based on the, on the religion. You know what I mean? Like, yep. it, it just, it just makes me think, man. Um, even when I look at church, when I used to go to church, a lot of who, the people who attend are women and children. Facts. You know what I mean? So you, I just start to see and notice certain things. I'm like, wait a minute, man. Like. If it's if a duck quacks, then it's a duck. You know what I mean? It's, quack, it's quacking. They making sense over here, you know. But yeah. I can't prove it because I don't have proof. But it's this comedian named Patrice O'Neill, and he said something. He was just like, man, like he I passed I keep, away, right? He passed away. I think in like two thousand eight yeah. or eleven. Yeah, I used to watch him. He got some dope work. But he said to somebody one time, he was just like, man, I can't prove it, but I feel it. Like, he was like, you can yeah. sit here and act like all you want, but he's like, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. like, yeah, that's that's pretty much the type of situation it seems like. But do you think it's a coincidence or like that all of this would be happening, all of this pedophilia and all this like trafficking whether they want to be human trafficking organ trafficking it's all part of the same connection you know what i'm saying do you feel like this is all coincidental that all of this is coming to like while trump is in the office it's it's interesting man because part of me doesn't know how much of it i know this because i, I can't really do anything else because i'm in the crib most of the time because of covid c19 yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it, it, yeah. it's it's hard to decipher because it's just like you you kind of almost looking for any type of entertainment that's as safe as it can possibly be yeah. you know what i mean it's hard to tell what do you think um i think like Something is being worked on behind closed doors and a lot of shit is being brought to light and a lot of people don't want to be brought to light. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. these, these, these politicians have been playing this game since they created the game mm -hmm. that we're all playing. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's just finally being played in front of us, like right in front of our eyes so it's not like being hidden anymore. And it, but it's sad because people still blind to it. I don't think they blind to it. People just don't want to see it. That's so, true. I do that. All right. Well, so they don't like, want to see it. So I'm saying they blind to the situation. They yeah. they turning their head. So it's like me looking at you and like I don't see you. Yeah. Like, I see you. Like, what the <laughs> like fuck? Like you see like, it. I see you. I don't want to see you. you it's wanna... like how ignorant people do what they call racism. You know what I'm saying? I don't even call it racism. I just call it ignorance. Like, Something else to factor in is, as we all know. Yeah, people are seeing the overtone and the system falling apart, but there's always an underworld to everything. Yeah, and duality. Then there's an underworld to the underworld. You know what I mean? And then that's how you start to see how things truly function. You know what I mean? Yeah. And part of it may be the underworld trying not to be exposed. You know? I feel like they, they like the game, though, because they put it in front of us with their Hollywood stuff you know what I'm saying like they control that shit okay <laughs> so you Speak, can't speaking of Hollywood do you feel like Hollywood is failing right now what do you mean failing okay so we not really consuming movies like that we might watch some Netflix some Hulu we ain't really consuming music like that people ain't really producing that much it seems like life the presidency has been turned into the reality show. You get what I mean? Yeah. And I already feel like America's export is entertainment. That's our resource. So I'm just sitting here saying, because you're, you're talking about the entertainment, do you think it's dying? Because like I said, movies aren't really being produced like that. We're in the crib, like, talking about it. Like, mm -hmm. ain't nobody consuming that type of stuff like that. 
Hollywood, I feel like, is gonna be a long time before it dies out because <clears throat> Hollywood is Netflix. Hollywood is Hulu. You know what I'm saying? Hollywood is YouTube. Yeah. yeah, Hollywood is streaming. Is, period. Is, is streaming. So any movies that we see and just movies that's dropping still that just came out in 2020. Yeah. So it's like. That's why I, I never consider YouTube as Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. You got to pay attention to certain shit. They got mad movies and shit up there now. I mean, mm -hmm. they was already on the way, but I mean, it's in your face now for purchase or to watch. Yeah. So. And they ain't used to have, you had to literally search and type a movie yeah. on YouTube. Man, okay. you can buy movies off YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's crazy. The only movies you used to watch on YouTube was hood movies. Fat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got the hookup. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro, look. Killer season. <laughs> Killer season. <laughs> bro, it, it, was, yeah. it was a lot of fucking uh, hood series that used to come on, man. I thought that shit was pretty dope and creative. That okay. everybody was stepping out once they got the camera to put the work in themselves to actually do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do you guys, uh, more so lately, within the past probably three to five months, I've been having a perspective that I was like, is the presidency Hollywood? Yeah, I would, yeah. Consider, I would consider. I would it. say yeah, okay. because Hollywood is like if they in, if they control and not I'm not saying like little Hollywood. Hollywood is controlled, but if Hollywood can control the imagery that's put out to us, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, then that's a form of power. So yeah. obviously they're going to want to use that shit to the full extent, you know what I'm saying? So It's an interesting perspective. So when I say that, I mean that the presidency is literally like a show. It is. It's it, a, it, it, it. It's the House of Cards. Facts. I never watched the House of Cards, that but it's did. just like the House of Cards. It's all fucking one big ass political weird game, and they be doing shit, all, yeah. all kind of weird shit. They I do. What, what happens is the people in charge are um, they like to live on the other side, you know what I'm saying, which is the not so good side, the dark side, that some people want to call it, you know what I'm saying, so yeah. as much as people want to be good, it's a lot of people who want to do the opposite, and those are the people that's in charge, and it should be very obvious with the way everybody is being yeah. formed and being controlled and being manipulated, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. if we had a good system, or if we had a good parent or a good big brother, then it would ripple down you know what I'm saying I agree shit ain't rippling down cause there's some shit up there mm. you know what I'm saying and it's trying to create more shit but now we removing all that shit <laughs> and they yeah. don't like that, that yeah. shit they don't move so. yeah yeah so yeah that all that shit is crazy you gotta be mindful it's always double messages in all the movies that you watch facts TV shows all the big shits oh, that yeah. they... Huh? This one. Oh, you gave this to me? Yeah. Oh, I don't know what the fuck that <laughs> oh. I was in my thought talking and I got this. Yeah, that shit. But like, they yeah, Hollywood is, is, is like weird. And they call it Hollywood still. Yeah. And they, it's like they've been putting this shit in front of our faces for it. Okay, so... Decades. Since y'all say that y'all think that the presidency is Hollywood... What do y'all think about the selection process then? Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that like shit. Like you said, it's a selection, not an election. Yeah. Okay. Selection, not an election. So it don't matter how much you feel your vote counts and matters. You can feel it in your soul. Like it doesn't fucking matter. They already. Yeah, they going to pick who they yeah, want to pick. They made this shit a movie. Yeah, Y'all going to keep avoiding the fact that it, like it's about to be war time soon like it's either conform or confront you got choices you know what i'm saying so open your eyes yeah see what's going on all you yeah. can do is prepare yourself yeah. so how, how y'all feel about um 
21 going into 21 because this shit is like or I, I shouldn't say going into 21 I should say like how do y'all feel about things being like after this selection um mm. I could say this even as somebody who don't actively watch the presidential election this has been one of the most entertaining things I've seen in a long time this is entertaining, bro. He just get on there. He say the wildest things. He do the wildest things. He get COVID, then make a speech with his mask off. Like, <laughs> and, and, like, yeah, and, and, like, and, like, like, what are you? What, what's going on right yeah. now, bro? Like, this the press. Like, this is the president. Like, this is the president right here. Like, this is. It just be so. It's entertaining, bro. And as much as you don't want to watch it, it just look like a train wreck that's about to happen, bro. And you can't not watch a train wreck. I know. It's like not watching a car wreck. Like, it's just not even like you want to see nothing bad happen. You just like, you hope nothing bad does happen. And you try to see that you hope it don't. You just, why? You're like, like what's going we on? We hope that the worst don't happen, but yeah. we want to see the situation. That's just, but that's just what it comes down to. We want to see the situation, but, you know, we don't want to see the worst thing happen. It's just something so wild every day that your mind is blown to the point that it can't even stay on, on one track. You know yeah. what I mean? And I think that's part of what is, I think it's working. Whatever it's they supposed to trying to do is working. For whoever it's supposed to be working for, because it's just entertaining. Have, have you heard <laughs> of the, um, the Ice Cube plan? The, not the his, platinum plan? Yeah, the platinum plan. It's not the Ice Cube plan, it's the platinum plan. <laughs> the but I'm just saying, Ice, yeah, Ice Cube has been pushing it. He's been pushing the platinum yeah, so plan. Alright, so, right, so somebody give me an insight on this platinum plan. So, I mean, from what I've heard of it, it's a one page plan for black people and you know as I've seen Ice Cube talk about it he's just you know he has a certain you know I guess delegation of people that's close to him or people that he trusts that can tap, tap in and probably change add some things not necessarily change you know maybe some wording but for the most part man it's just I, it's did you hear anything that would help us in any type of way nah man it's just like when you heard that jay-z did the plan with the the nfl and, yeah. and everybody was just like yo he did it you like did what <laughs> like and it's not even like you taking nothing from nobody but it's like you if i'm the type that needs detail and if i don't got detail i feel like you you blowing smoke up my ass you know what I mean? Yeah, you you, I, need, I, I, you I, need some transparency. Yeah, I mean, anybody who ever came to me with something that was worth something was like, yo, I got this. This is where it's coming from. This is how much you need. This is where we can go to get it. This is what time we can go when you're free. It's, tra it's Everything's transparent. It's never yeah. nothing like, yo, I got the plan. And they just look at you like, waiting for you to ask for the plan. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, he didn't. He never really said what it was. He just said, like, he put a couple things down from it that he said, but it was a nothing couple really things. like set in stone. Like, and to be fair, I never. But I get the concept of it though. It's like trying to put something forth for people that look like us, because every time something goes for, it's usually switched into for the minorities. Yeah, and then, you know what. Anybody can fit into the minority category. And I did. That's one thing that I will definitely say. And that's what grabbed my attention about. He said, this is not for minorities. This is not for black and brown. I mean, this is not for brown people. This is for people who look like me. This is for black people. You know, yeah. the descendants of slaves. I heard him say that. That's what drew me into it initially. I'm not sure how far I researched into what he said, to be fair. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But from what I've heard, I haven't heard much detail about it. And maybe that's something you know. I think it's a, I think I think it's a good it, you know? concept though because yeah. what, what he's saying is make them um, earn your vote. You know what I'm saying? If you want, you go through the fucking vote system. Process. You know what I'm saying? And pretend like the selection is real. Like make them earn your vote. I like that sentiment. I I didn't I never I didn't get that out of what he was doing. But you're right. Yeah, make them yeah. make them earn your vote. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Like. You going to go vote for somebody because you don't like somebody else. That's stupid as fuck. That's yeah. what a lot of people is doing. Like, they voting for somebody because they don't like somebody else. So you don't even know what kind of piece of shit the other one is. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. you, and when you do your research, you already know how his team moved because they all been through the office. Facts. Most of his team has been through the office. You know what I'm saying? And you've been in the, 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 the fucking... Politics and all this shit for like, what did they say, like 47 years or some shit like mm -hmm. that? And 
now you want to run, motherfucker. Now they want to <laughs> put you in place. Like, come on, man. Oh, Whether man, they no get sense. it or not, you know what I'm saying? Whoever gets it, like, motherfuckers just need to be prepared. You know what I'm saying? Just stay mindful, be alert, and just be prepared. Because it's going to be some bullshit coming behind it. That shit never fails. And it's only yeah. going to get worse the way they're lining this shit up now. People keep saying, oh, I, I wanted to go back to the way it was before. But that's like, to, to me, like, before was comfortable to a certain extent because that's yeah. what we raised in. Yeah, we used to, yeah. But that's like the slave mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all know that the system is, like, it's set up to trap us, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, to enslave us. We know that we ain't physical slaves no more. They still got slavery with the prison systems and shit, you know what I'm saying? But as far as, like, what they put out to us, you know what I'm saying? It's more of a, 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 a mental, spiritual slavery now. Yeah. So I, I, I would much rather break that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's when a lot of people find their spirituality is when they're in prison and they feel more free, you know what I'm saying? So... I mean, that's kind of like my perspective towards that whole situation. But I, I definitely think like if he had the right push and, and people did that, instead of saying like make them earn your vote, say make them earn your vote and then just pick a source or a location, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, it has to start with the boycott if you're going to keep this shit rolling. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're going to have to pick a location. I mean, they done done it before and shut restaurants down. You know what I'm saying? That's just yeah. on, a, that's on a small scale. You know what I'm saying? That's not shutting down Sam's Club or Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Or shut down the Dollar Tree. You can yeah. keep Walmart shut down the Dollar Tree, but I know that makes more sense to keep the Dollar Tree, so shut down the Walmart. Like, But... On that note, we about to cut to this break and then we're going to get back to y'all. So we back from the motherfucking break. So we about to get into these um new laws that just got passed down here in Virginia. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to ask my man Savage <laughs> how he feel about these new laws in uh, Virginia that now um, we probably going to have to follow. Um, I feel like these laws that they just laid down and passed some shit they supposed to me they was supposed to already been doing um like simple shit it, it don't take a fucking rocket scientist to fucking do the things you need to do without passing laws when it's right there in front of your face Instead of turning the, 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 the cheek and the blind eye, just yeah, fucking do your yeah, job. Yeah, that's Like, fresh. it's not hard. And then, once motherfuckers want to finally explode from the shit and tired of t uh, dealing with the bullshit, they paint the picture as people being the bad guy now when they not the bad guy in actuality. And reality, y'all the bad guy because people got fed up and yeah. tired of the bullshit. Yeah, that whole process is crazy. You went through them, right? You checked this shit out? Yeah, man. Man, look. <sighs> <laughs> nah, man. This is the type of stuff, like, this principles and moral stuff bother me. Like, it, it bothers me when, like, a group of people, organization, anybody or anything is in your face acting like they're trying to help you or, to me, insulting my intelligence, acting like you're trying to help me when you're really just prolonging yourself and saving liability for yourself. Like, anybody who's ever been in a relationship and somebody's messing up, ain't nobody gonna come to you and tell you what they're gonna do better while they're still fucking up. And you stay there. Well, yeah. at least not most people with that's balanced that I know of. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, like, when, you, yeah. when somebody keeps fucking up, doing stuff to you, killing you, oppressing you, suppressing you, Painting pictures of you when you react to the oppression and suppression and being killed. And they're monetizing it all. Like, and then they write something up on how they're going to take steps to get better and be better. When he said, like you said, you can be proactive and just do it. Yeah. If, some, if something happens to some type of law enforcement, it's an automatic manhunt for an animal. Fact. To the point where I start associating this person as an animal because that's how the person was introduced to me. 
Yo, that's crazy you say that, right? Because, <clears throat> like, um, I want to say last, not last year, year, year before last, it was, like, a situation where something happened on the campus over here, right? I didn't know about it. I was at work, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I guess it had happened the day before or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I was at work when I had talked to my mom's earlier, but she ain't mentioned it or nothing. I guess she ain't see it yet, you know what I'm saying? So later on that evening, I'm over at my people's spot, stay right up the street. Yeah. And, you know, she know he stay right around the corner from me, you know what I'm saying? So like, it's not, I don't have to drive this walking distance, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. like, she hit me like, um, she sent me the link and then told me to be careful, like, because they looking for somebody that's brown skin, 5'10", with dreads, you know what I'm saying? So she just like... Very general description. Exactly. <laughs> you know like, what I'm saying? So I don't mean, All three of us are about 5'10". <laughs> brown skin with dreads right now, bro. Right, bro do you know how many people that is in Charlottesville alone, though? No. But my mom was scared for yeah, me. Yeah, nah, I understand. You know like, no, I, I understand know I'm where she's good, coming from, like, but it's like the process. I hate of that it. shit because you can't say every five ten and up person with dread with locks. Locks, I know. Yes. I always try to correct yes. myself. Yes. With locks, it's not early. It's, it's, well, it's the same person. <laughs> good catch, bro. Like, it, we not all the same, and I don't understand that. Yeah. Yeah. Like when a certain situation happened a couple of years ago with somebody, <laughs> the shit pisses me off. I ain't gonna say no names, but everybody knows the situation that happened around here at, on the campus of Virginia. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. like, all they said, well, first of all, they said he had dreads, locks. Uh, my bad, he had locks. Yeah. Correction, yeah. the right word. He had locks, and he was over five ten in a certain way. And I'm like, "What's fucked up?" I'm not, working. Look similar, <laughs> and you work on campus. Yeah, I work. I worked yeah, on campus. Yeah, I'm similar. like, but the fucked up thing is, the person was already caught, but they would like people were still, still cautious. Yeah. And I had a situation where, like. They I'm getting me some food and the student look and I'm just shaking my head like, nah, Aww. this ain't, nah. That's some movie stuff yeah, right here. Like, nah, this we ain't laughing, that. We laughing, we yeah. laughing right now because it's, we passed the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, that's the only reason we laughing right now is because we passed the situation, but that really is a serious situation, you know what I'm saying? And like, a lot of people end up in some bad situations due to, you know what I'm saying, false identity, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or just misjudging a character, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, I just wanted to throw that out there, so, you know what I'm saying? Just wasn't making it seem like we just laughing about some real shit. Nah, yeah, we ain't yeah, really yeah. say what the other person did, but it yeah. was like, he nah, had this some serious yeah. fucked up shit, you and know what I'm saying? Like this. He gone for life behind bars. Yes. He, they not gonna let that Good. man out, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that shit, that shit crazy, so that's So yeah, man. Like, these these laws that they doing, like I saw one of them was like like something against like restraints around the neck or some shit like that. Like first of all, why do you need to restrain a person around the neck, yeah? And second of all, we seen enough videos of people getting shot and they ain't got nothing to do with restraining the neck. Right. I, it was there's a situation that just happened where the the black dude had the knife and they shot him, and a week and a half before that, I seen the white dude. They take him down with nicely. the knife. The dude stabbed the police and he chased him and tased him. Yeah, they still they still uh, took him chased, down. They still yes. tackled him and took him down nicely. Yes, yes they. Uh, yeah, they, they, they probably him got him breakfast and lunch and everything. Damn, like that. he got to eat real good. You know what I'm saying? You can like, see the blood on the sidewalk. I think they I think they do situations like that intentionally. Like it's a lot of people. Like we know a lot of white people personally, and they don't move or carry themselves like what the media portray. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But. It's almost like they do that shit intentionally, you know what I'm saying? To like, to make the, everything more uncomfortable for everyone. You know what I'm saying? Obviously it's gonna create more attention, but like, 
But then they got crisis actors too, so you never know what's real and what's fake. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And I mean, <clears throat> really, also when you look at, if you look at the hierarchy of almost anything, you look at the top of almost anything, you will see that same color face there more than likely. You know what I mean? Whether you go through the judicial system, any system, you already yeah. know what you're gonna see at the top more than yeah. likely. So yeah. it's just like. Yeah. We, unless you go outside the system, you know what I'm saying? Unless you, like, unless you go outside the country. Uh, yeah. Unless you go outside the country, and you, you likely will probably still see it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you go find the very small tribes, you know what I'm saying, that they let still live off the land. That's, um, that's something, man. I went to Africa for a couple of weeks, man. That's something easier said than done. You just move to another country. Everything you're familiar with, no comfort zones. Only people that that you know for real is the people that either come with you or you might know there. Maybe you don't know the environment. You don't know who to talk to, who to deal with. You don't know how to move. Oh, the language like, is different. Language, bro. Food different. Like so yeah. much stuff. So like when people be like, "Yo, just move here, move there." Like as someone who stayed there for like two weeks, I'm trying to tell you, bro. The, the, the diseases is different. Why, like, why, you know move, I mean? why move all these places when you could just fight for what's yours, you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't make sense to me. But I, I do, like, understand people who think that way, too, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying as far as me, like, it's going it's going down. Like, I, I never felt like I was connected to, like, Africa. I always felt like this is, this is where I'm at. Like, this is... My energy always felt more connected here, you know what I'm saying? Up and down this East Coast, you know what I'm saying? And I was at a place where, you know what I'm saying, like when I, I started growing more spiritually, my one of my grandmothers is still alive and I was able to talk to her and ask her questions, you know what I'm saying? Like that I didn't think of before, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what type we don't, of like, questions do you mean? Like the questions that we all wonder, like, was you in slavery or, or coming from it? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And she like, no. She said that shit aggressively too. She was <laughs> like, no. And I was like, what about your um your moms or somebody? Do you remember anybody? She was like, no, nope. I was born in um Philadelphia. I lived there, and then I moved down to motherfucking um. She ain't saying motherfucking, but she like I moved down to Florida. She moved down to Florida. <clears throat> That's where she had my mom's at and some of uh, her other kids. And then she moved up to New York, you know what I'm saying? And then that's where my mom's had me at up there in New York. But they, she, her and her moms and them, if they was up and down the East Coast, I, I don't know how much slavery there could have been. My grandmother was born in North Carolina and raised, she's about 65. She picked cotton before she went to school. She's 65. I, I was shocked. What you mean she she picked cotton? Kind of like she picked it because she wanted to or because she had to? Nah, she had to. That was how their family afforded to stay in the place that they stayed in on the property that they stayed on. Okay, so it was you like, know what it was I mean? Like work. Yeah. It was <clears throat> it, it did your servitude work. You picking cotton? You picking cotton? Like, yeah. You picking cotton? Yeah. Like that's <laughs> that's yeah. yeah. That ain't as close to slavery as it gets. I don't know what the fuck it is like you. You picking cotton, like... So that was just like a before school thing and after school? Or just they had to before? do other things. Bro, that, that, that story is so... It's so deep and just trauma and just... Damn. Just so much stuff, bro. The cotton is the least of it. You know what I mean? The cotton is just like, damn, y'all had to do that? You know what I mean? And damn. she only 65. That wasn't that long ago. You know what I mean? Bro, my, my grandmother is... In her 80s, she was pushing 90s, so you know, she's been around for a while. So, you said she- I mean, it's, it's being a part of slavery and slavery would be definitely something you would remember. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. not something you would forget if that's what your ancestral history was, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. or you remember your mom's or something doing it or being close to it, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, yeah. That's why I always tell people, like, everybody family wasn't, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I know my grandmother was up and down the East Coast, you know what I'm saying? You born in Philly, you had my mom in Florida, 
So you move down and there's birth certificates, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, You're down yeah. in Florida and you move back up to Syracuse, New York, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a lot of traveling. Yeah, man, that's interesting and too. They, and they talking about, and she in her 90s and they talking about that's when like, everything was like, it probably was like segregated and shit, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, By then, yeah, yeah. if it was segregation around, I don't know when everything was started, but I knew that these are the places where she was born at when my mom was born at, you know what I'm saying? So I know she moved freely <coughs> yeah, up yeah. and down the East Coast for them 90 years, basically. She almost 90. And that, to me, I mean, this is all speculation for me, seems like that it may have been, and it still is, like a status thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, all created by these motherfuckers to stay in charge. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everything to stay in front. Cause we got a powerful culture. You know what I'm saying? We got a powerful culture. And we always rebuilding <clears throat> and rebranding and re coming back up with some some new ideas or some new ventures or something, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter what kind of situation you put us in. That's why they gotta work so hard to keep us down. You know what I'm saying? For the ones that is still down, you know what I'm saying? But for the ones that's up, we still had to work pretty hard to get up out of that space, you know what I'm saying? So they in overtime. So we gotta be in overtime too, you know what I'm saying? I agree. I feel like I'm always in overtime. If I, every day, if I wake up, see some days, some days I relax. When I say some days, far few and in between when i say relax just consciously want to sit down and just chill but yeah every mostly every day man i wake up if i'm not advancing or achieving something that i didn't before when i woke before i woke up i just feel like i'm failing i gotta do something you know what i mean i tell my little mini and i tell myself too like every day i gotta learn something new you know what i'm saying even if it's Something small, you know what I'm saying? I could just listen to a new video and, and take in some new knowledge. That didn't really take a whole lot of effort, you know what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. took just as much effort as it did for somebody to turn on music except I turned something else on, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's the only difference. It's so, difference. Some, some people make it seem like you gotta put a lot more effort into it than you do, but you got a motherfucking thousand dollar phone, you know what I'm saying? And if it's not a thousand, it's probably like eight hundred. All these phones pretty expensive. Right. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. They have nothing but just just to get money out of us. Yeah. Yeah, man. More status symbols. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I never been the person to feel like I need to upgrade all my phones right away. You know what I'm saying? My last one got upgraded just due because the one before broke, and I had the same one for like. <laughs> I tried to save it so many times, like, I think I rebought the phone like three or four times. You That's feel, a lot of times. Do you feel like people's phones reflect their personality? Mm, I feel like, the phone brand that you have does reflect your personality to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know, just, I'm an iPhone user, just Android users, just, like my brother, he an Android user, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, that's my brother, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with him using his Android, but, it's just personality. He, yeah, but my brother, he been my brother my whole life, he, he got a different personality than mm-hmm. me, he's different, you know what I'm saying, he always been Android, I think he might have went to iPhone maybe once and went away. But he wasn't like it. Yeah, nah. I know I know a lot of people who had Androids and use an iPhone. They was like, nah, Nah. this ain't for me. I personally, I don't, I, I, I can do both, and I have both at times. But I prefer an iPhone. I'm that type of person. To me, I feel like it's it's smoother when I need to do something. Yeah, it's more convenient. You know what I mean? Everything where I need it, when I need it, Mm -hmm. there. I'm usually doing a bunch of different things. You know what I mean? It loads faster. But yeah, so you use Droid, so you know. Yeah, I know both. I play both games, so yeah, I, I got them side by side comparison. And iPhone, so the Droid don't it don't move. 
It just That's don't. Right. It just don't move like that. It's not as convenient, really. Yeah. It's really the convenience. convenience. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's us. Because if you lose it, you got everything that you lost right there. Yeah. Or your your iPhone. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you break it, it's still there. You know, the screen messed up. You still got your pictures, still got videos, your memories, or your kids and all but, of that. But now we're so excited for the iCloud from more storage space and the save shit. But the thing with that is. It's going to somewhere else too, and we don't know where. So, where is it? Before really it was iCloud, our phones. When you took a picture, you can just go to your gallery, yep. and click on your picture, and it's there. Now, if you do that shit, you gotta wait for it to load. You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully, you got good service or it's loading properly. But but you know what always happens over time too, even with a regular physical picture, the physical picture will fade out or something might get spilled on it. Or like on a computer, the file might get outdated. They don't got a program to run it, so like yeah, but that's you got thing about that. But I don't you, know nothing about that. But the thing is, like you got more control over. It. It's kind of like cash versus car. Like you have more control over your own items and property. That is a risk you are taking, but that's yeah. what they use to get people to buy. You know what I'm saying? To get, I, to get the I products, so. They make the products way, they yeah. don't make them as durable either. So you'll have to buy. You know what I mean? Make them easier. But what break. happens is if we keep the tangibles, then it, it keep us on our toes and it make us more mindful. You know what I'm saying? I agree. That should make us more mindful. We, we swipe, swipe, swipe away. You know what I'm saying? But when you got that cash, you kind of like, you gotta go through them bills a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, know you gotta saying? assess what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. oh, I gotta pay this yeah. in about three days, yeah. so I ain't gonna buy these shoes. Yeah, or yeah. just assess whether you gotta go to your other stash spot to get more cash, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody, if you got a lot of cash, you're not gonna go out with all your cash, huh? you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. when you move around, you gotta, uh, your car is, <laughs> you're like, yeah, I love my car because it's convenient. Mm-hmm. Did y'all see anything about the um the RFID chips? What? The RFID chip. I mean, I see stuff about they implanting the chip now. Oh, oh that nah, yeah. man. Oh man, yeah. look, for, look. They got a whole fucking company that got the shits implanted right here in their hand. It's, they People, say it's like the size of a and rice And whoever beer. is doing it is retarded. Yeah. I'm not. First of all. Why do I need to put a chip in my body for y'all to do whatever? So you can buy snacks. Yeah, and no, I don't out. need to so do all that. Heading out the door. I'll, I'll pack That's my it. lunch. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's what they showed mm-hmm. it for. When you see the video, you can look up the RFID nah, chip, seen, and they'll show the they video. show the company, yeah, and they show him like going in and out the doors using his hand and going to the vending okay. machine. Like, why would you show those two things, like? Yeah, I should get that because I can open a door and use the vending machine with a chip in my hand. Yeah, I ain't trying to be funny, but that shit don't do, do nothing but remind me of the movie I Robot. Yeah. For yeah, real. Yeah, there's a couple of different movies. Fact, true, but come on, bro. Y'all, man. And people falling for it. That's the sad part. They are. They are. They are falling for it. That shit is getting crazy. That shit getting crazy, but what can we do? We keep doing what we doing, stay positive and protective. Keep trying to push it forward. Keep trying to motivate one another, you know what I'm saying? Inspire each other to do better, to be better. You know what I'm saying? Stay out of them toxic situations. If you are, at least learn how to maneuver in them, you know what I'm saying? So you're not sinking, you know what I'm saying, all the way. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to finesse that shit. You know what I'm saying? And on that note, we about to wind this thing down and get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go tune in to the uh, Track Wolf Godcast motherfucking IG. Y'all motherfucking subscribe and shit to the channel. Check out the motherfucking merch. You know what I'm saying? Be great on IG. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have the links and all that shit in the description. Go, go get that dream clothing on IG. Hit on my boy Jamar. This savage the producer and this that savage shit. You A9, this Chino Bliss. And we signing out.
G. My nigga, that's us. We shining right now. We the next ones up. Y'all rappers, so fake. We here called Bluffs. Y'all don't want none with none of us. That shotty in the trunk. That nine on my hip. I guess I got him. Pull up with a stick. Cock aim, let it rip. These niggas, so bitch. I'm trying to get rich. No time for a bitch. I don't need no love. My nine, my slug. My mask, my gloves. My only true loves. I ball, I get it. I stack it, I spend it. I bag, then flip it. Stack bread, make digits. Get it and spend it. Get it and spend it. Bad it, flip it. My style, terrific. Bitch, mind your business. We'll smoke like chimney. You get that money. Them niggas gonna invent. They wanna end me. This is the beginning. I'm starting to see clear, nigga. I got the vision. Hey, check my pimp in. Part of my drip in. And fuck your pig in. Cause my niggas, we getting it. How does a cattle nigga get up on my level? Have a nigga plead for Jesus when I pull up like the devil. Get money, I won't settle. Switch it like a cigarello. I was out here with OGs that had the block shaking like jello. Rapper never tell though. Rapper be a weirdo. Came from the bottom, but for like the top is getting it though. Drinking Henny, dead nigga, press his luck. Take him off, then speed off with my dub and four up. Don't care about none of these niggas, it's just us. Chasing bags, hey, day, these bitches just a plus. Blowing gas, got me phased, I be on that wave. Niggas hating on me, tell them we don't give a fuck. Get it and spend it, get it and spend it. Bad and flip it, my style, terrific. Bitch, mind your business, we'll smoke like chimney. You get that money, them niggas gonna end it. They wanna end me, this is the beginning. I'm starting to see clear, nigga. I got the vision. Hey, check my pimpin'. Part of my drippin'. And hey, fuck your pimpin'. Yeah, Cause my niggas, we gettin' it. I count blue strokes. Fuck that boy, we gon' pit him on the noose clip. Now my brother, I'm poppin' perks, I'm bout to lose it. Huh. Pull up in the Rolls Royce. Bitch, I had no choice. Huh. If you ain't talkin' money, huh. send to the voicemail. Huh. Nigga, I'm hot as hell. Huh. I'm still sellin' bills. Huh. I don't need a scale. Stop on kill snails. Huh. Nigga, I'm a real player. Huh. Send them through the mail. Huh. I fake these niggas 12. Huh. Go to jail, huh? I'm praying he don't tell. Huh? I can't take no ill. Pay my lawyers, I got rats on me just for the bill. Hey, fuck a felony. Huh? PG Chef T, huh? we got the recipe.